today's Please video will be solving for all values of x now let's start we have x squared minus x to the power of 3 is equals to we can rewrite 12 as 8 plus 4 now let's bring all this to the right hand side so we have 0 equals x to the power of 3 plus 8 plus 4 minus x squared now we have 0 equals to x raised to the power of 3. We can write it as plus 2 raised to the power of 3. So here we can write 2 as plus 2 raised to the power of 2 minus x squared. So here now we'll be recalling two properties. The first property is that when you have a raised to the power of 3 plus b raised to the power of 3. This is equals to a plus b into brackets multiplied by a squared minus a b plus b squared and the second one is difference of two square which is when you have a squared minus b squared this is equal to a minus b into bracket multiplied by a plus b now let's apply these two properties firstly starting with this we are going to use the first property which is zero equals to into bracket s plus 2 multiplied by s squared minus 2s plus 2 squared and the other one which is difference of 2 squared is going to be plus 2 plus x into bracket 2 minus x now let's write this as 0 equals to s plus 2 close bracket open by s squared minus 2s plus 4 into bracket here we have plus s plus 2 the bracket 2 minus x let's put it like that now we have a common terms which is s plus 2 right so we have 0 equals to s plus 2 into bracket close bracket here we are going to be left with s squared minus 2s plus 4 plus what 2 minus x now we have 0 equals to s plus 2 into bracket here we are going to have s squared minus 3s plus 6 close bracket so this implies that we have s plus 2 is equals to 0 and s squared minus 3x plus 6 is equals to 0 so from this we are going to get our first value of s which is minus 2 which is also an integer right now let's look for the other two values of s which may be complex or real. so here now using the long or the formula method we have a equals to one b equals to minus three and c equals to six now the formula says that s is equals to minus b plus or minus root b squared minus four ac divided by two a so now Let's substitute the parameters. We have x is equal to minus b, which is minus 3, plus or minus root, minus 3 squared, minus 4 multiplied by a, which is 1, and multiplied by c, which is 6. All divided by 2 multiplied by 6. No, multiplied by 1, rather. Now, this is going to be 3 plus or minus root minus 3 squared which is 9 here we are going to have minus 24 all divided by 2 so we have x is equal to 3 plus or minus root of minus 15 right all divided by 2 so we can write this as s is equal to 3 plus or minus root 15 multiplied by root of negative 1 all divided by 2 that is use our sod operation rules right so we have x is equals to 3 plus or minus root of negative 1 is equals to iota so we have root 15 iota divided by 2 so we have gotten our two values for x, x which is a complex solution the first one is 3 plus root 15 iota divided by 2 and the third one is 3 plus root um, 3 minus root 15 iota divided by 2 so these are the three values of x guys please don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel thank you